morning guys today we are heading off to lulu mall uh yeah i just have to pick up a few things i thought i might as well take you guys along with me um well i wanted to go to where did we want to go lulu supermarket because i saw a lot of Indian spices kept there, you know, ready-made spices that would make it make cooking much more easier for me when I go back to London. So we are going to catch the metro and go all the way there. So this is going to be fun. I absolutely love the metro. I think they did a kick-ass job in Cochin. I have my mum with me. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> you know. I am collaborating with a very young designer. Oh, this Lombarda tune and the lift, it just gets me every time. I hope my health permits me to do the shoot really well. But I'm really excited to face the camera after a long time. And I love, I love, 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 love his stuff. I love his work. I love his designs. I think this is one designer to watch out for. So I shall leave all the links out here. And tomorrow, obviously, I'm taking you guys along with me. And I'll be vlogging the entire experience. You know what's it? amazing thing about Malayali men out here they just can't stop staring no matter even if you're dressed up in an Indian avatar they will still stare at you on the board I check out So that whole experience in Lulu, vlogging I'm talking about, was a complete flop. Uh, I got a few things uh, which I will show you on IGTV. I think it will be better for me to do a haul that way. But whenever I come to Kerala and I take out the camera to start vlogging, I get very, very conscious. Uh, it doesn't happen to me in any other country or <laughs> any other state, you guys, as much as it happens in Kerala. Uh, when you go to the mall and all, it's much more better. You know, men don't stare as much or people in general don't stare as much. But when you walk on the streets, oh my God, uh, I get pressurized to take my camera out. So self-conscious, you know, and um, I hate vlogging whenever I walk on the streets out here. And besides, even at Lulu Mall, we couldn't do much because we went to the hypermarket. We bought a lot of things, uh, groceries and fruits and all of that. And... Uh, my hands were completely full. We had to take an Uber because it started to rain. And I just got back home and I took a head bath. My hair is nice and frizzy right now. I'll have to, I'll go and straighten it uh, tomorrow morning. Okay, so I'm just going to put in some leave-in conditioner. And I will see you guys tomorrow for my shoot. I'm so looking forward to this. I hope I have the energy to do a very good job. I... I'm doing my own makeup. Uh, they did say that they could get a makeup artist, but he told me that for the photo shoot, he wants like a lot of kajal eyeliner and a red lip. And he said that, but I should look like me. And okay. for me to look like me, I know my face better. So I think I can manage to do my own makeup. Hair, he just wants me to tie up for some of the saris and just leave uh, leave it straight. I think he just wants the sari to talk a lot for his catalog, you know, for his brochure and all that. I shall see you tomorrow. I'm going to do a face mask right now, steam my face, you know, the whole nine yards, okay? Good morning, everybody. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to vlog after I finished my whole Metro, Lulu, Center, Mall, whatever that I did out there. I have to rush. I have to pack a few things, um, pack my, basic essentials i always carry my own makeup every time i go for a shoot it's always my own makeup so i have to pack all of that and i shall see you at the studio my makeup is done we just we've done a 
smoky eyes can you see that i don't know why i'm looking there anyway just a very slight wing liner some lashes and the lower lashes i did almost like a reverse wing liner and just smoked it out a little bit of highlighter a little blush we're just making it as simple as possible and hopefully the shoot will finish off quickly because i'm getting slightly tired i just wanted to show you how the blouse is Look. just a simple clean cut blouse and even here there are many so i really like this where he takes all you know christian inspired what you call it uh, designs and he creates a sari with it quite nice I'm just going to rest it till they come and dress me up I just wanted to show you this sari right now. So he has done his little drawing and printed the traditional dance. I don't know if you can see it right here. How amazing it is. What is that dance called? Margam Kali. Oh wow, see how beautiful it is. Yeah, traditional Nasrani. And he's just took that as an inspiration and he made his prints. It's so, so pretty, you guys. This guy is so talented. And this is also another favorite of mine. Just look at that. It's got Mother Mary's print. Do you want to see the inspiration behind the designer? That's the mother. <laughs> That's auntie who's helping me along with my mom right there. This is the studio setup and that's the sari. Just finished my shoot you guys but I want to show you look at this look who's sleeping right here oh I could just kiss you die too cute too cute too cute too cute are you done so the whole crew and I are just going to catch some lunch it was a good shoot I'm very very happy excited about this collaboration I'm excited to see the lookbook and Let's just hope for the best. Hey guys, good morning. Sorry, uh, yesterday I was very tired to continue my vlog as soon as I reached home. But this morning, it's around 6.45, woke up, um, you know, I just took a shower, I put a face mask on. This is just plain haldi, uh, basin and honey. So I was just afraid that I was going to break out a lot since I've been wearing a lot of makeup lately. I'm anyway packing and heading off to Giri's place, which is in Thuruvur, Alupura. That's where my in-laws house is. And it's nice to get out of the city life once in a while and just head over there and breathe in nature, okay? Because they've got a garden, they've got three ponds behind their house and they've got trees and just my kind of place. 
And what I love about that place also is that they've got the modern kitchen and the rustic old open kitchen, okay, where it is that stone grinder and you have to put wood to start the fire, make your, uh, make your tea. Uh, or make your rice. It's just wonderful. I'll show you all of that rustic, asli Kerala side of it. I've been thinking of doing a video showing you the sounds and taste and, you know, basically taking you on a visual journey of Kerala. <laughs> so I just thought I shall do that. I don't know how it's going to turn out to be. And my favorite thing to do out there is to sit like a granny out in the <laughs> you know, in the, uh, what you call it, the front porch, uh, the front area of the house, the veranda that we call out here, because they've got this rope swing and I'll just sit there with my cup of tea, watch people go by, and if it rains, ah, bliss, heaven. So I better start packing because Achin is going to come and pick me up right now, my father-in-law, and I shall see you in my next vlog. I hope you have enjoyed this. Nothing great actually, but I just wanted to show you what I've been up to you know assignment wise work wise and i shall see you in my next yeah i shall all right see ya bye